I couldn't make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? Show! Essa puta aqui! Traz essa puta aí, ó! Tá porrada esse viado aí! Isso aqui é teu namoradinho, é? Quem que é esse viado? Quebra o dente dele pra ele parar de falar essa porra! É isso aí! Não posso esperar pra sair daqui. Olha de merda! Eles nunca aprendem a lição. Traficantes e viciados, né? Espera o quê? The alley was a dead end in more ways than one. I needed to find a way out of there. It seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. <laughs> I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. Decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere, and it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcelo and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me. That band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. 
Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcello. What the hell were they about to do to him? You bastard! Agora acabou, cuzão! gang way of killing people. These are no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Quem fez isso? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra de americano. Coisa morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. After a couple of hours of lying and shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a couple looking at me. All right. 
Paso said there's a good place to hide in the back. Just try to stay calm. This is it. No, keep going. That's a girl. Pregnant. You gotta be shitting me. Me and Raul, fossils you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? It just didn't work out that way. Sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Disperse and procure por toda parte. Tem que achar menina do americano também. Tá bom. Okay, chef.
in on a parade float we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious we had to hide someplace out of the open the spoils of a desperate man An army of paramilitaries and only my face made the front page. More publicity I didn't need. Locked. And there was still the small matter of the traumatized girl sobbing behind the trash can. To get this poor girl out of there. Oh my god, Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We're just gonna lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcello thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Broncos' security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey. If we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Ready? Right. You got it? Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. Well done. Giovanna. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! He's going to the sacada! room? Yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down.
I was getting good at this. There had to be an easier way out of there than the way I came in. Something. Look about the mud, the mud, the mud! Look out! to my unhappy place. day had started with us hiding in filth, 
and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Should we wait here for bosses? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Stay here. 